This is beautiful. I really love this. Killer Mike tweeted a Nina Turner ad, and there's going to be a little somebody you recognize in this ad. We can't have a testimony without a test. And it is the people's revolution. Any Democrat won't do. Nina Turner is running for Congress. Does being practical mean that we don't say to the American people that you deserve better than what you are getting? No answer to the billionaire class, but answer to the people. Titles are good, but purpose is better. We need doers of the deed. Add all that Nina. Too many people suffering, too many platitudes. Everyday Americans are being left behind. Medicare for all, fight for 15, Green New Deal, we standing up. We're gonna start calling out people for who they are. Hello, somebody. One of the most strong, fierce, dynamic black women I've ever met in my life. When it's time to bail out Main Street, people wanna ask how you gonna pay for it. But when it's time to bail out Wall Street, they don't say a mumbling word. Hello, somebody. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. We need to be on these folks like white on rice and black on coal, baby. And if you come for Nina Turner, your ish better be airtight like Tupperware. This is no time to shrink. Well, I am back in the American people. That's who I'm back in. We're not going for the okie doke no more. People in Ohio, they want to know about jobs. They want to know about their children. I say fierce women shake the world. It would be a lot of fun to have Nina in the house. Yeah. We're going to have to shake things up. Progressives are the future. If you can't even survive, you'll never get to thrive. S N T is what we call it, baby. <laughs> Oh, she was on fire. Hallelujah, somebody! That was such a great ad. Um, I don't know if that's like an official Nina Turner campaign created ad. I don't know if Killer Mike or some of his um, staff or something made it. I don't know if some random other person made it and Killer Mike just tweeted it. I don't know the specifics of it. I don't know the details of it. But I love the ad. I think it's amazing. Crystal Ball's in the ad. I'm in the ad a number of times. The video that they use of Nina is, of course, out of this world amazing. And uh, it's exciting, man. It's exciting. The idea that we have at least something that the left can hold on to, which is a unifying force. Because, yes, the left, at least online, we've been at each other's throats ever since Bernie, uh, Bernie's campaign imploded. Ever since that happened, we've been really going at each other. Um, and totally unproductive, um, really gets in the way of progress, I think, even though there's some fighting over legitimate issues. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the unifying force of Nina's campaign is, uh, is like medicine and we all hope she wins because at least the sense I get from her, um, is that she definitely, definitely has more of that leadership quality, which I think is lacking among the left in elected circles these days. Where it's one thing if you agree with the left on the policy issues. And there are plenty of politicians in D.C. who actually do, in good faith, sincerely agree with us on the policy issues. The issue is, what are you going to do about it? How are you going to try to win on these fronts? And unfortunately, the strategy that I think everybody defaults to once they get in D.C. is acquiescence, falling in line, trying to get your little wins where you can, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, tit for tat with the leadership, thinking that's the best way forward, when really the best path for the left has always been and will always be using the bully pulpit, getting the people more involved, and taking on your own the leadership of your own party, just like the Tea Party took on the leadership of the Republicans back when it was their day. So that's the approach that I think works and has the best chance of working. And Nina Turner is the closest to that philosophy of anybody I've seen yet. Even more so than Bernie. Bernie was, God bless him, always right on the policies, willing to stick out like a sore thumb for a long time. Didn't have many friends in Washington, still doesn't. Um, but he, he, always, he always had that thing too, where, you know, Joe Biden is my friend. And, you know, he w does ultimately oftentimes play the role of the loyal, loyal party man. And what we don't need that right now. We need somebody who's going to take a flamethrower to everything in sight and fight tooth and nail for progress. And that's what Nina Turner brings to the table in a way that I haven't seen anybody else bring it yet. So I'm very excited. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the video description box if you want to donate to her campaign. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but right now she's the front runner for this congressional seat. So support her any way you can. Do you want to donate to her campaign? You want to you know, join the campaign in one way or another. Again, link in the video description box. 
Um, let's get her in there, man, because it can in many ways be a game changer.